Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of functions. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the domain of the function where the function is given to us as f of x equals log of 4x squared plus 11x plus 6 to the base e, the other part of that same function is sine inverse of 4x plus 3. And the last one it's given to us as cos inverse of 10x plus 6 over 3. So these are the three sub parts of the function. So this is your entire function f of x. And the question tells us that the domain of this function is open bracket alpha and close bracket beta. Then 36 mod of alpha plus beta is equal to what so that is the question asked to us and if i talk about the answer choices that are present here it is a 72 b 54 c 45 and d 63 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us so let's solve for that question first so function f of x, it consists of three more functions that is f1, f2 and f3. So let's solve these three functions first of all separately. f1, it is given to us as log of 4x square plus 11x plus 6 to the base e. f2 sine inverse of 4x plus 3 and f3 that's your third part of the function that's cos inverse of 10x plus 6 over 3. so i have those three parts of the functions given to me now let's see and solve for that question so f1 that is first part of the function log of this we know that the domain of this function will exist whenever logarithm of that value to the base e that value is basically greater than zero because logarithm of anything exists when that expression is greater than zero so for that function f1 if i talk about first because log of one also would make it log of zero to the base e will also make it undefined or undetermined so i know this function which is present inside the bracket should have a value which is greater than zero so if I take that 4x squared plus 11x plus 6 greater than 0. So I have this. Now if I try to solve this expression, I need the product of the two numbers to become 24. And I need the sum to become 11. So I know it is 8 into 3. So 8x and 3x will give you 11x and 8 into 3 will also give you 24. So I can split it as 4x squared plus 8x plus 3x plus 6 greater than 0. So from here, if I take out common from these two terms, I have 4x common, so x plus 2 plus from here, I get 3 common x plus 2 greater than 0. So from here, I get 4x plus 3 and x plus 2 greater than 0. Now, once I have this, I know product of two terms is positive and that is only possible when both of them are positive. and x plus 2 is also greater than 0 or when both of them are negative. So 4x plus 3 less than 0 and x plus 2 is also less than 0. So from here, I get two solutions. If I solve for them, I get 4x greater than minus 3 and, so and x greater than minus 2 or from here, I get 4x less than minus 3 and x less than minus 2. So if I solve it further, I get x greater than minus 3 by 4 and x greater than minus 2. Or from here, I get x less than minus 3 by 4 and x less than minus 2. So if I see the solution set here for the values of x, which will satisfy both of them, less than minus 3 by 4. So if this is 0, this is let's say minus 1 and this is minus 2. Minus 3 by 4 is minus 0 0.75 so somewhere here. So minus 3 over 4 this is minus 2 and since x is greater than both of them the first solution 
x greater than minus 3 by 4, x greater than minus 2. So from here, I get a common region of values of x satisfying, and that gives you x greater than minus 3 over 4. Or in the second part, if you see, x is less than minus 3 by 4. So minus 3 by 4, if let's say it is here, it's lesser means on the negative end and x is also less than minus 2. So minus 2 also on the negative end. Now, if I see the common region here, I get the common region as x less than minus 2. So I get or in between and that gives me the solution set that x values, it either lies less than minus 2 till minus infinity or it is greater than minus 3 over 4 that goes till infinity. So from here I get the solution set and that gives you x belongs to minus infinity and minus 2 or so union from minus 3 by 4 till infinity. So that's your solution set for the first part of the function f1. Now let's talk about f2. So now if I talk about this next part of the function that is f2, which is sine inverse of 4x plus 3. So we have to find sine inverse of this value. And we know the value of sine theta goes from minus 1 to 1. So from minus 1 to 1, I should have that value of 4x plus 3 in between them. So that should be my answers here. So 4x plus 3 should be greater than or equal to minus 1 and it should be less than or equal to 1. So if I subtract, first of all, minus 3 from all of them so that I get minus 3 eliminated from here with plus 3. Here you get minus 4, 4x. This becomes 1 minus 3 minus 2. Now once you have this, you also do not need 4. So you divide both sides by 4 as well. So you divide throughout by 4, you get minus 1 x. This becomes minus half. So you get the values of x from minus 1 to minus half. Now, once you have those values of x, you get the solution set for the second part of the function and x belongs to minus 1 and minus half. So it goes from minus 1 to minus half. And the third part of that same function, f3 cos inverse of 10x plus 6 over 3. Now, again, if it is cos inverse also, we know the cos of any values of the angles goes from minus 1 to 1 again. So minus 1 and 1, and it has 10x plus 6 over 3 in between. So from here, what you get is, first of all, I'll multiply throughout by 3 everywhere. So I'll multiply throughout with 3. So your functions or the values become minus 3, 10x plus 6, and 3. Now, once you have this, you get minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. So your values become minus 9, 10x, minus 3. Now, once you have this, you divide throughout by 9 so that, sorry, divide throughout by 10. So you are getting this 10 eliminated and you get only the values of x. So you get the values of x lying from minus 0 0.9 to minus 0 0.3. So for the third part, you get your solution of the function that goes from minus 0 0.9 to minus 0 0.3. And again, a closed interval because it is going from, if it is in between, we have an open interval which is shown by this part, right? So we have solutions of all the three parts of the functions for f1. We had our solution set going from minus infinity to minus 2 and union minus 3 over 4 to infinity. So minus infinity minus 2 union 3 over 4. So minus 3 over 4 till infinity. For the second part of the function, we had our values in the range from it was from minus 1 to minus half. And for f3, the third part of the function, we have our brackets, closed brackets from minus 0 0.9 to minus. Those are your three values that you have. Minus half, if I write it, it is basically minus 0 0.5. Now, once I have this, 
I need to find the intersection of the domains of the three functions. So I just need to find the intersection of these three solution sets that we have for the entire function f of x. So if I see and draw it on the number line, let's draw it. So the first tells you it goes from minus, let's find out. So minus three over four is nothing but minus 0 0.75. So I get from the first part of the function, if I show it to you, it goes from minus two till minus infinity, does not include minus two, all the values less than minus two. So I will draw here a hole like this. And here also it goes from between minus three over four. So the value is greater than minus three over four till infinity. So again, a hole here. This is your first part of the function. The second, if I draw, it goes from minus one to minus 0 0.5. So let's say minus one is somewhere here. So from minus 0 0.1, so you have a filled hole and it goes till minus 0 0.5. So let's say somewhere. Here. So you have this. This is your second solution set. And the third solution set, if you see that you have here, it goes from minus 0 0.9 to minus 0 0.3. So minus 0 0.9. So minus 0 0.9 would be somewhere here close to minus 1 just greater than that so minus 0 0.39 so minus 0 0.3 would be to the right of this so you get minus 0 0.9 so this is your third solution set now once you see this i and i try to find out the common region which is present between all the three of them i see to the left of minus one you don't have any common region so this entire thing is gone and to the right of minus 0 0.5 also you don't have any common region so that's just gone so you just have your interval somewhere between minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.1 so if i figure out your common region starts from here which is not consisting of the values of minus 3 over 4 because the red mark shows a hole here so you have the values of x greater than minus 3 over 4 and that goes still. So I'm drawing an open interval because it is not equal to minus three over four. And you have a common region here till this part. Yeah. So till this part where you have it equal to minus 0 0.5. So it is equal to minus 0 0.5. So I'm drawing a square bracket here. So you get your entire solution set for all the three parts of the function that is f of x. And that gives you an interval that goes between minus 3 over 4 to minus half. So all the values greater than minus 3 over 4 and going till equal to minus 0 0.5. So once you get the answer, the question tells you that this function had a domain as alpha comma beta, which was minus 3 over 4 and minus half. So basically your alpha values is minus three over four and beta's value is minus half. Now the question is asking you to find out 36 mod of alpha plus beta. So 36 mod of alpha is minus three over four plus beta, which is minus half. Now, once you have this, you just put that and find the answer. So I want to make my denominator same. So I'll multiply both sides with two. Once I multiply both sides with two, I get minus 3 minus 2 over 4. So you get 36 mod of minus 5 over 4. Now, once you get this, you get 36 5 over 4. 4 ones, 4 nines, 9 fives is 45. And from here, you get the answer matching out with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which asks you to find the domain of a function. So I had this function divided into three parts, F1, F2, F3. I found the domain for all the three functions where you have a determined form. We found the solution set for all the three of them. And then we just combine the three solutions to get a function in the range of all having the domain from minus three over four to minus half that gave us the values of alpha and beta. Once I got alpha and beta, I just solved it for the value of the expression that they were asking for. And that matches with 
option C. So C becomes a correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.